And for our last video, we'll do exporting images. At the very end of doing all of the rendering work that we've done here, almost always what you'll end up with is either an animation, as we just covered, or a flat image. I recommend always doing these as a viewport, because then you can control exactly what you'll be exporting. Now, we'll go to File, Export, Export Image File. And here's what we want to make sure of. We click Draw Marquee. We simply click the top left corner and the bottom right corner of the viewport. You'll notice we didn't get any snap points. So I might have lost pixels on the top left, right, or bottom of this viewport. We can do to correct that. Edit the viewport and edit the crop. This viewport has no crop, so there's nothing for us to snap to. In here, however, we can simply draw a rectangle to add the crop. Update the viewport. There we are. And now, if we go to File and Export, Export Image File, when we click Marquee, click Draw Marquee, we can snap right to the corners and give us the exact edge of the viewport. However, this will default to whatever you last exported an image at, and 250 pixels per inch gives us a file size of 11 megs. However, JPEG is pretty low compression, and you normally don't want to use that. Change that file type, usually to TIFF or PNG. Update this again, you'll see the file gets a little larger. Now, this is at 250 pixels per inch, which is the DPI of the actual document. We'll hit cancel on this for the moment. Take a look at the sheet layer under tools and organization. Under the sheet layer, the DPI is only 150 for this sheet layer. Which means, if I export it at 250, I'm using more space for no reason. The image is unnecessarily large. You want to make sure that when you go to File and Export, and Export Image File, you first draw your marquee again. You want to match this to the DPI of your sheet layer. Go back to PNG and update it, and you'll see it's almost half the size that it was before. There's no reason to increase this artificially any higher than your DPI of your sheet layer. If you turn it higher, you're just wasting size, you're wasting space. It won't matter at all. Generally, since your viewport is already done, you do not want these two options checked. Otherwise, it can force a re-render, and if you just did a high-quality render, you'll be sitting there for quite a while just waiting for that image to export. You don't need to update it before you do the image export. Then simply hit Save, and choose where to save the file. That's all there is to it. You get an efficient yet full resolution image exported directly from Vectorworks.